everybody, my name's Anna, aka Glitter and Lasers. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hello. Today we are doing another haul. This is a haul that many people request, and to be honest, it's not a brand I'm super enthusiastic about because, I don't know, it just, when I think of this brand, I think of old people, and that is Women Within. And I know I am insulting some of you, and I, I don't mean to, but I feel like this is a brand that has such amazing potential but tends to style all of the people who wear their clothing in a very matronly way, which there's nothing wrong with getting older, but I don't think you have to dress that way anymore. I think that is a very old school way of thought. Now, what I will say about Women Within is they do have some interesting pieces. You just have to dig on their site. So I did, I did all of the digging for you and I found some really great pieces that I honestly feel could be styled in really cool ways. And that is what I'm gonna try to do today is show you those pieces and then maybe later on I'll style them so you can see what they look like. Um, I just feel like this is a brand that gets in its own way because like I said, they could sell a lot more clothing if they just updated their styling to something a little bit fresher. It doesn't have to be young, but man, like it also doesn't have to be that dated. <sighs> styling aside, let's jump into what I got in this Women Within haul. Yes, Women Within. And now you get what I was saying, right? Now you get where I'm at, where I was coming from, because man, they really do those models dirty. Like they have the prettiest, most gorgeous models ever and they make them look dowdy. And I just, I, why? You don't have to. Like here's some examples. You can see what I mean. Like these are beautiful women and they are buried in clothing that just doesn't work for them. But that aside, we're gonna give it a chance. I ordered so much stuff and I'm gonna show that even in the most unlikely places, you can find some good fashion. And the great thing about Women Within is it's super affordable. Everything is always on sale. So it is a like worthy place to go on a little bit of a dig for some good finds. Or watch this haul and just let me do it for you. So before we get into the haul, let me just remind you that if you enjoy this video or any of the others you've watched of mine, go ahead and click that subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and leave a comment. Heck, I'm looking for tons of new hauls to do right now. So comment what haul you'd like to see in the future. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into all of these Women Within pieces. Okay, so this is our first thing. It's a yellow dress I say thing because I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't Oh God, I don't like the fabric. It, I don't like it and I don't like the seaming. Like, just give me a little fold over. Like, ah, ah, this, is not, this is not starting off well. I thought I was gonna be like, let me show you how I make this work. And no, I, I, I uh, maybe this is supposed, it, yeah, it's a dress. And it's very that like polyester -y thin fabric. It's not lined at all, so like, I can see through this right now. I don't know if you could see my face because of the way the lighting is, but I'm not, I'm not super excited about this. It's like a jarring first impression because I was so pumped to give you guys the best haul ever and that's not making me feel great. Well, this dress is a piece of shit. It may look good in the camera, but I want to tell you it's very uncomfortable. It's very cheaply made and you can buy something better for the same price. So don't buy this dress. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. In fact, I'm going to link you to a better dress in the same color down below that you should purchase instead. Okay, so we're just gonna get back on the positivity train and give everything else a shot. That first dress was just, just a doozy, just an exception, but this, this looks nice. This is an acrylic long sleeve cardigan. It's pretty lightweight, open weave. I love the color, I love the big buttons. This is like a comfy, cozy thing you kind of just throw on over jeans and leggings, jeans and leggings. <laughs> what am I wearing the leggings as a top? jeans or leggings and like a cute top. And then you could just throw this on for a little extra warmth. I actually really love the color. The arms feel, no, they're actually the right length. They're just chunky, like me. Um, this is nice. Okay, okay, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. We're back, we're back into positive vibes. We're feeling it again. Okay, I actually really like this cardigan. It's super comfortable, it's breathable. Yeah, I'm a fan. So this is from Elos. And this is, is this a skirt? Oh, it's a skirt. So this is like a jersey fabric below, like a cotton jersey, which I love. And this is a little kind of camel colored skirt. This is actually really cute. Like throw on like a little tank with this. 
it could be really like this is this is very um on trend because it's very like 2000s and it hasn't come back yet but we know that like camo print and cargo pants have already started coming back right camo print is around the corner this military fatigue style i know because of what's coming back in style that's very y2k right so that fits in that vibe and this is again from women within Okay, so I really love this skirt. I think it's super cute, super comfortable. I love that it has shorts underneath. So it's a win, it's a win. So this I got because I thought it would be like a cute little swim cover up, just like throw the skirt on and go. It's cotton, which is awesome. And it does have like a nice stretch. It does three tiered. It's not a skirt, nope, just a skirt. But honestly, it's super cute. It's basic, but it's a cute basic. It also looks cute with like a tied tee and maybe like a denim vest. There's a lot of different ways you can style just a solid color skirt. And this is a really good one and a really affordable price. I really want to love this, but this line is hitting me right here and it's making just, I, I don't know if I like it or not. And I'm, I'm hesitating, which means I probably don't. I just, I wanted this haul to be good. It's, it's not trending that way. Let's hear it for some pink. This is a really bright pink tank dress. Again, this is a great something to throw over a swimsuit when you're going to the pool. It is, it does feel like cotton and it's really, really soft. And it's again, super affordable, super easy and a basic that you can style a whole bunch of different ways. I actually love putting like little crop tees underneath this. So you have like a cute little contrasting shoulder or belting it and wearing it with shorts and wearing it like a tunic. Um, it's a very like 80s vibe because I was born in the 80s. If you watched my tour at all, you know that. And I think it's a great find, again, for a pretty good price. Uh, this is a cute little cover-up dress. Honestly, I like the length. No complaints, it's cute. And I think they have it in like a bajillion colors. So if this ain't your shade, get one that is. This shirt is giving me grandma at 4th of July picnic vibes. Like that, this I would not wear. Um, I don't know why I picked it out. I guess I was trying to be you know, explorative in the things I purchased, but this, this is a no-go for me. I just like, it's not my vibe and it is very like, this feels matronly to me. Um, but I love the color. It's a nice color, good fit. Not my vibe, not my vibe at all. She's giving corn dogs and sparklers and I wanna be giving sassafras and a good time. What, no, what, uh, move on. It's so Midwest. Fourth of July vibes, especially with these pants and these shoes. I literally created a look. Oh, this is really cute. Okay, so this is a tank dress. This is 100% my vibe. We all know color blocking is mad in right now. And it goes red, pink to light pink. And it's just a cute tank dress. Super soft fabric, super comfortable, super on trend. Let me just keep saying super, 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 super. This is a great dress. This is a great dress and it's, it's it's super comfortable. No complaints, no complaints on this one. I probably will keep this and wear this a lot. And actually it looks like I did a Target haul and there was a dress that was like this color blocking but mad short, right? And I was like bummed. And now I have basically essentially what I wanted which is a longer version of that dress and it's a softer fabric. So that's, that's really winning. So I like this, but I actually would probably get a size larger. It feels a little tight right here. And I'm afraid when I sit down, I would like pull the seam and then cause it to break. So yeah, I'd probably size up in this one. So this is, this is a little t-shirt dress with an like adjustable waist and a nautical stripe. Very appropriate for summer. This would be great if you were on a boat. This is like what I think about people who have money to be on a boat all the time wear is like a nautical print, like a nautical stripe or print little dress over their swimsuit. So that, I mean, this is giving rich girl fantasies. And like not rich and like snotty, like rich like, I have a lot of money, but I don't need to tell you I have a lot of money, but you can still infer that I have a lot of money because I'm wearing a striped dress on a boat. More proof that horizontal stripes can be cute at any size. Okay, so this is like a linen top and it's like a swingish top. It's got a weird kind of line. If you can see here, it's like curved. It is quite oversized, but that's kind of the style of this top. It's a color that like, I feel looks really good on me, but I don't particularly love. Um, so I am trying to just give it a chance a little bit more because every time I wear this like mauvey pink, you guys love it. And I'm like, oh, it's not 100% it's not my vibe, but it's pretty, it's pretty. Um, so 
I think this is this is a bit too big. I don't hate it. I feel like I could maybe style it to make it work, but it's, yeah. <laughs> it's too big. Okay, so this is just a really cute tank. Just green. I thought this would be fun, just with shorts, whatever. I just like stripes. I'm having like a stripe resurgence. For a long time, I like was like anti-stripes. So it's like no stripes in my wardrobe. Not because I didn't like how they fit or anything like that, but literally just because I was like, there's too much stripes in the world and I need to like help the universe by taking stripes out of the community. But now I'm like, F that, I like stripes. I'm gonna wear stripes all day. And I love the buttons on these. They're like little silver. I think they're just really cute. They remind me of like snaps, but they're actual buttons, which is good because snaps never hold. They always like come undone and then your ladies are out and you didn't plan for it. And that's great when you want them out, but bad when you're somewhere that they should not be out. <laughs> you should be able to control the cleavage you present to the world. Um, yeah, nice little cotton. Love the Kelly green stripe, another hot color for the season. So pretty great. So I really like this one. It's very comfortable. And honestly, it's something I will wear a lot. So I'm keeping this. I knew this was gonna happen. When I ordered this, it said t-shirt. And it doesn't feel like a t-shirt or if it's like a weird t-shirt fabric that I do not like. It feels harsh. So I don't love this. I do like the print. The print is cute, but it's like a hard, it's like a harsh, gritty fabric. And I have a lot of problems with um, itching. <laughs> that sounds, sounds creepy, but I've talked about it in another video. I have something um, that occasionally crops up called demographia, where my body, like if I scratch it at all, it becomes hives. And so fabric like this could actually make me itch on those days. So now I'm like really averse to fabric that I can just tell that when I'm in that state, I would itch. And so this is definitely like a fabric that would do that to me. It might be something that after washed a couple times gets softer, um, but my initial reaction is don't love it. Don't love the fabric. Um, it's a little itchy. My instincts were correct. It's actually, it's a lot of itchy. I don't like it. Nope, pass. So this is a cute um, sweatshirt, sweat, bleh. Sweat shirt, skirt, skort. Yeah, that. It's a skirt with a skort that is made out of sweat short. <laughs> Sweatshirt. <laughs> she swears sweat shorts. It's like a tongue twister for the modern age fashionista. But I just love these because I love, like I think they're great for sightseeing and traveling. I've bought them before. I've worn them pretty much every summer. And I got this color because I'm working on an aerial Disney bound and I thought this would be perfect for wearing to like a Disney park with a cute purple top. And yeah, they're soft and comfortable and a great bargain. So it's something I have purchased many times in my life and love. They do usually last a season. What I will say is you will, rub your thighs through these. So if you're willing to put a different pair of shorts underneath them, you can make them last a little bit longer by just cutting out the shorts once you've worn through them. Okay, we have a winner. This is cute. I love the color, it's comfortable. And I know this works because I've purchased them before, so kind of a, a little bit of cheating, but this is probably my favorite thing from this haul. So you know how we had the green denim skirt earlier? Well, this is the white version of it. And I have been working for like a white denim skirt for like ever. I didn't realize this was a skirt as well, but I'm okay with it because goodness knows anything that can keep my thighs from chafing, I am a fan of, but this is super cute. Like a white skirt. And because it has the skirt underneath it, you definitely aren't gonna be like showing through. Like, you know, sometimes when you wear white, everybody can't see your butt crack. None of this because it is aligned. I think this is super cute. And I'm actually probably most excited about this piece. This with that like tank top we looked at earlier would be just so cute. Um, I am totally ready for a white party with this skirt. And honestly, it's, it's really good. It's really good and I feel like I haven't seen a lot of white denim skirts in plus. So you're welcome. Last but not least, um, we got a pair of shoes and like 35 catalogs. This is my biggest frustration. Whenever you get something from them, they literally send you a million catalogs. Clearly I bought online. Clearly I'm not a catalog girl, but it's okay. These are from Comfort View. Okay, these are actually really cute, which is funny because that name, Comfort View, makes them sound terrible. Makes them sound so ugly. But you cute, you just got a bad name. These are little like tassel shoes. 
let her tassels, let's let her freak flag fly. There we go. So we have these fun little tassels in the front. Super easy to put on because you just zip them in. They're made for people with fake ankles like me. And you just have like a cute little pink shoe. This is adorable. Like comfort view. That's just not a good name for you. You need something sassier. I'm going to call you Victoria. And we can just cover up comfort view with like a little thing that says Victoria. With that, guys, I'm going to go and enjoy some light reading uh, where I learn about the power of culottes. <laughs> poor women, these poor women. But I think it goes to show that you can find great pieces wherever you choose to shop. And sometimes shopping at places like Women Within allow you to get much more affordable pieces and it's up to you to bring them to life. And I think that is the most important thing about fashion, that it's not a store that makes you fashionable and it's not a certain like item of clothing that makes you fashionable. Fashion is about personal expression and you can express yourself getting clothing from anywhere. And one of my pro tips for shopping is to try stores like Women Within. Try the places that other people aren't shopping. You know why? Because that's where you're gonna find unique things and those are gonna be the types of things that shape your own identity and fashion style. So I like a challenge and honestly, I found great pieces that I'm gonna wear. So who's the real winner? With that, guys, links to everything are down in the description box. Let me know if you want to see more hauls from brands that people don't typically haul. I will check you guys later. Have an amazing rest of your week and peace.